Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Devenny. Remember, I teach second grade at Ebner Elementary. And I know that we have met a lot in the past and we talked a lot and read a lot about characters in our book series. Today, I thought that we would have a little bit of fun with our characters in a book and we kind of do something a little bit different. We're going to um, talk about and learn about a character that we're all familiar with, but we're going to kind of make something with our character. We're going to kind of make a art project, boys and girls. We're going to make a collage. So in order for us to do that, boys and girls, I thought it would be fun to learn from Moby from Brain Pop Jr. So I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to share a video with you about how to make a collage. So let me share my screen. And I'll start the video. Making a collage. What is a collage? A collage is an artwork created by joining different materials together. You can join paper, like newspapers or magazines, or stamps and stickers, wood or parts of plants, cloth, and even objects. You can also draw or paint to add to a collage. The artist Kurt Schwitters collected bits of trash to create this collage. There are pieces of metal, cork, newspaper, and even candy wrappers. I love exploring collages because they can be simple or have a lot of different parts. Some of my favorite books are illustrated with collages. The collages in the books by Eric Carle and Ezra Jack Keats bring the stories to life. They mix paper with different colors, shapes, sizes, and patterns. You can use practically anything for a collage. What are some types of collages? A photo montage is a collage made out of photos. You take different photos and join them to create something new. The photos together can be more powerful than each one by itself. Texture is how an object feels to the touch. In wood collages, you can experiment with different textures and shapes. You can create a film collage by mixing parts of movies together or create a sound collage by mixing sounds and different pieces of music. Great, Moby. Some hip hop is kind of like a sound collage. How can collages communicate feelings or ideas? Collages can communicate through symbols. <laughs> oh, not those symbols, Moby. A symbol is something that stands for something else. A dove is a symbol for peace, and a horseshoe is a symbol for good luck. Items or materials used in a collage can be symbols for a feeling or idea. I used pictures of a light bulb and candle in my collage. They're symbols for ideas and knowledge. Colors and shapes can also communicate ideas and feelings in collages. French artist Henri Matisse cut out paper to create collages about jazz. He used bright colors and shapes to communicate the playfulness of music. Wavy lines communicate energy. When you make a collage, think about what you want to put in your work. 
explore different shapes, colors, and textures. Use items that help communicate your ideas or feelings. Grandpa keeps a scrapbook, which is also a collage. He joins photos, newspaper clippings, and objects that help him remember important events later. It's kind of like a diary and a collage. You started a scrapbook? Okay, boys and girls, I'm going to share my screen again. And this time, we're going to actually make a collage. Our collage, boys and girls, is going to be a character collage about some of our favorite characters in our book series. So I thought that I would pick Pinky and Rex. So I know the main character in our book series, Pinky and Rex, is Pinky. So what Mrs. Devaney thought that she would do is share with you all of the different ways that we can use or ideas that I came up with to um, use to make a collage for a character. I know that you can use all kinds of materials. You can actually make using cloth, you can use magazine pictures, stickers, I used construction paper, I used markers, I used stickers. I even found some old scrapbooking paper that Mrs. Davini had in her drawer. I uh, used words. So I thought that I would at least get it started for you. So my character is Pinky because we know Pinky is the main character in our story, in our book series, Pinky and Rex. And of course, Rex is, is Pinky's um, best friend. We know that Pinky and Rex both love soccer. They play soccer a lot, especially at recess time at school. So I found some stickers about soccer balls. They went to the dinosaur museum. So they, they think that dinosaurs are pretty cool. So I used some of my dinosaur stickers. I even wrote their name in their favorite color. We know Pinky's favorite color is pink and Rex's favorite color is yellow. We also know that they go to the same elementary school and they're in the same grade and in the same class. I actually found from my scrapbooking material, I found it's made out of cardboard. Um, these are supposed to be books. So I thought, well, that could represent that, that they go to school together. I found some neat, just shiny scrapbooking paper and I cut it and I, I put it on and you notice how I'm really trying to bunch all of the things together because that's what a collage is. You kind of, you know, you can make it like, like Moby said, you could put a lot of material together or you could spread it out. Uh, we also know that um, they're second grade, they're in second grader, they're in second grade, they're second graders just like you. So and a couple other things that Mrs. Davini thought would be neat that um, we both know that Pinky is seven years old. So instead of just writing the number seven, I found an old birthday card that I had and it had candles on it. So what I thought would be neat is I could tuck it behind there. I could put my glue on it. So I actually used candles on a cake and I made it represent his age and Rex's age, which would be seven. There are seven candles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that represents his age. We also know that Pinky and Rex, boys and girls, um, they live next door to each other, they're neighbors. So again, I found some scrapbooking paper that I had in my drawer and I made two houses to represent that they live next door to each other, they're neighbors. And you notice again, I'm kind of overlapping it, uh, my objects that I made. So really I just, I used marker, I made two houses, I cut them out and I put, this could be Pinky's house with the pink star, this could be Rex's house with the yellow star. And I just took a piece of paper, a piece of scrap paper and I used my markers and I wrote best friends. How many noticed I used best friends, I used their favorite colors, pink and yellow. I also found an old shirt that I had and I just cut a little square out of it because it was old and, and tattered and I thought, well, it's pink. 
So that could represent too, that's, uh, that's material, that's cloth, that's, that's Pinky's favorite color. We also know that Pinky and Rex love to ride bikes, bikes together. So I found a picture, boys and girls, and I printed it out on my computer. You could draw a picture of a bicycle on a piece of scrap paper and cut it out of a bicycle because they like to spend time together and they like to ride their bikes together when they get the chance. I also found that we know that um, Pinky has a lot of stuffed animals in the story and so does Rex. Rex loves dinosaur stuffed animal. Pinky loves just all kinds of stuffed animals like his favorite stuffed animal, his pig. So I thought, well, we could just put his stuffed pig up there because I know Pinky even likes to talk to his stuffed pig jingles a lot. And I found a lion because I noticed he had a lion, a stuffed lion. So this is just one example, boys and girls, of what a collage could look like. You could place all of these items different ways on your paper. You could make it bigger, you could make it smaller. You could actually just draw or color. It's just something fun to do. You could actually do this with any topic. If you like science, you might make a science collage. If you like um, cars, you might make a car collage. Maybe you go somewhere special. Maybe, maybe you go to a park. You can make a collage about what you did at your park. So it was, it was just something fun that I showed you, boys and girls, since we've been talking about characters. And you could always do that, too. You could pick one of your favorite characters from a book that you read in school, or one of your library books, or one of your reading workshop books, or one of your books on Epic, or one of your books on Raz Kids. And you could pick that favorite character and make a collage with it. So really, boys and girls, you can use all kinds of materials. So in a way, it's your, it's, it's your turn to just be creative with it. I enjoyed showing you my collage. This, again, is just an example because we know that Moby showed you all different kinds of collages. So again, this is a fun summer activity that you could do throughout the summertime if you wanted to. I hope you enjoyed my lesson on characters and I showed you how to make a collage, a character collage. I hope you enjoyed your time, boys and girls, as we read through our reading workshop um, books that I, I read to you and that the other teachers read to you. I hope you have a wonderful summer, and I know I can't wait to see my second grade friends back at school in the fall. Happy reading, boys and girls. Bye-bye.